Hi, I'm Joe James, and in this video I'm going to show you how to merge or combine two columns in a pandas data frame. So the most common way where you reason why you might want to do this is let's say you have a column for a year and you have another column for a month, or you have a column for a month and another column for a date. So uh, I'm going to look specifically at some dates here, but they're going to be as strings or as integers. So let's take a look at a typical data frame that you might have here with different columns for those. First we have a couple of imports. Uh, I'll run those. Then we'll create a data frame. We'll call it df equals pd dot data frame. And I already typed something up here, so I'm just going to paste that in. What we have is month, year, and population. So we're passing in a dictionary with three columns. And the month, you can see these are strings. The year, those are going to be integers. And the population are also integers. And then we'll print out our data frame. So we have three columns. Now let's say you want another single column with month and year in it, right? So you don't want to have month and year in separate columns. You just want to have a single column with month and year. So let's create a new column for that. Let's call that um, df, and then we'll put square brackets, and then quotes. Let's see. We'll call it time. df.time. I don't know if that's the best name for it, but that's what we're going to call it. And then we'll say equals df. And we'll take the month, or should we take, maybe we take, should take the year first, right? And then we'll put the month last. So year, and then what we have to do is as type, we have to convert this, since year is currently an integer, we need to convert it to um, a string. So as type and then str. That will convert it to a string. And then we can say plus, um, we can just add a hyphen in if we want, and then we'll add an, another, um, we'll add the month on here. So df square brackets quote month. So that will do it. And then we'll print out our data frame, and we should have one extra column for time. So we still have 2012 uh, first, and then we put the month after that. So these are still strings now. These, this is just a string. This is not a date type. But we converted these two columns to a single column. We merged them with a separated by hyphen that we put here. And you can do that just with string addition, so that's pretty cool. The only catch is that you have to convert integers to the string type to add them. Now what you might want to do is write a little program to convert these months to integers, right? So for January, 0, 01, for February, 0, 02, for March, 0, 03. That way you can easily sort these uh, time fields. So we could do that actually just using a dictionary. We could have a translator converter from Jan to 01 using a dictionary. So let's see. Let's call this months equals. And then our dictionary will look like this, right? This is part of it. January 01, February 02, where the keys are the these strings and um, the values are the numbers in the form of a string. And you could add all of them if you wanted. I'm only going to put these four because that's all we're going to use. And then we'll adjust our data frame here. DF, we'll add another column again. Let's call it year month. And equals DF. And we're going to need the year first. And then add. And then let's see, oh, we got to add as, as string, right? Dot, uh, as string or as type. Okay, that'll convert that to a string. Then we need df of month. Let's see. And then what we need to do is dot apply. And we're going to apply a little lambda function to it. Oops. And let's see, we'll apply a lambda function to it. Uh, lambda x, where we're going to take MOS of x. And then we'll print out the data frame and see if we get what we expect. Yeah, so we basically converted our month, January, to a 0, 01, uh, February to a 0, 02, and then we concatenated that with the year. And we created a new column called year month to put those in. So now we could actually sort this column by, uh, well, there, there's basically a string, but it's numerical. So we can convert that to an integer type if we want. It may already be an integer type. 
if we put df dot dtypes, yeah, it's a string type. So we could convert those to integers if we wanted to do some easily sort easy sorting on them. I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.